We'll do one more just for a recap. And you can see the fixture there that I have got. And I do have a mark on there so I'll know both ends matches up on the top up there. Just, it's just you, something you got to do. Put that right on there like that right there. Slide it up there like that right there. And just kind of hold it up lightly on the bottom. And affix it into the vise where everything is secure and leveled up. And tighten her up. Get that pull handle. You want this right here to be tight. Mm. Tighten her up. You do not want any slippage in this valve stem when you're pounding on top of this. And, 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 and let, let, let me let me let me come right in here with some safety in the shop. There's nothing more dangerous than a, a big hammer. You know, a little hammer right here will do some damage. But uh, I tell you what, if you get the big hammer between, if you get your finger between a big hammer and a piece of steel, you'll have a duct tape plaster on your fingernail for some time to come. Uh, well, <laughs> let's not be distracted and get on with this here other. Let, let's peen one more over and then we'll get on to cutting them stems off. Get you, a, get you a real nice light flame, a feather, feather type flame with no hiss. I mean a good silent flame. Take your time, a slow heat. Only need the heat to center the stem part. A smaller size ball peen hammer works great here. And then you can pull in the little sharp pointed hammer there. You know, something left over from the body shop days. Generally, with each blow should be with intent. You should know what each blow of the hammer you should know what the results of that blow is going to be. Now, this is not a procedure where you need any wayward blows. And I am using the peen end of the hammer. The stem is... Uh, it's 1018 steel that I'm using right here. If you... Uh, are the inquisitive type. It's a, it's a decent choice for these old engines. Works good. It's cheap. I do, I, ha, I occasionally, and, and that's not to say that the next valve that I make, I may use a tool steel for the stem. It's, uh, it's really a, uh, you know, you can get by with, uh, well, most anything will work. I kind of go back and think some uh, when, when 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 a little insight, and I do thank everybody that had input when uh, before I made the first valve that I ever made. I probably ask. Every person that I met that whole year, how to make a valve. Oh, yeah. That's good enough right there. No more. I don't need no more. And uh, some of, the, some of the, uh, the different ways that I was told, taught, told how to... Uh, ah, that's tight. And it, well, it should be. The many ways that, that I was told how to build a valve the uh, uh, um, at some point there I felt that I could I could build a valve it's uh it's the steam is it's warm but not hot these two guide pieces are hot they did they did get to that point and uh, but that head is affixed to that valve I'll set it aside to cool and we'll thread this one one more, quickly. 
the guide goes on each side like that right there, the clamp. Slide it up to where that it bottoms out on the valve. Kind of equal it up on your spacing on the on the saw cut. Put it in the vise, pushing up on the bottom of both of those to where they're equal amount, and tighten your vise up tight. The head is a press fit on there. Remember that. Going to be far. Just your flame to a real nice feathery flame head. Heat the uh, valve stem head, the tip. Heat that. Heat that hit tip of that valve stem right there. A real nice cherry red. And I've not had any problems with building valves this way. As a rule, I, I silver solder ahead or braze ahead on. I do like this method right here. I do like this. And the valve stem choice kind of dictates how you affix the head to the stem. And the valve stem choice is also a product of what you're going to be using the engine for. That's good enough. That's that's plenty good. You always have to hit it one more time. Make each blow with the hammer count. No wayward blows with the hammer. Good to go. Break down the setup. Set aside to cool down. 